Hey everybody, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I'm gonna to take you through 10 of my favorite drones you can get for $500 or less. So stay tuned and we'll check it out. So to start out, I wanted to tell you, right now it is almost May of 2018. And the reason I'm telling you that is because if you're watching this later, uh, late 2018 or early 2019 or after that, um, this, ac this information was recorded in May of 2018 and it's as accurate as I can be right now. Uh, second of all, I want to add another caveat. I know a lot of people have opinions about what their favorite drones are, and I would love for you to add those to the comments below. However, I'm only including drones that I've actually flown and reviewed on this channel. So the first drone on my list is the SEMA X5C, sometimes called the SEMA X5C1. It's about 50 bucks, you can get it on Amazon. I highly recommend it as a beginner drone if you're just starting out. This thing is a tank and a beast. I really enjoy this as a trainer, and for 50 bucks, how can you go wrong? Plus, it uses standard hobby batteries, 1S hobby batteries, that you can get uh, almost anywhere really cheap. So you can buy multiple, multiple batteries for this thing. I've replaced motors in this, which is super easy to do. You can paint them to look really cool. These are just very versatile little drones. So SEMA, I hope you keep producing the X5C for a long time and if you want to get into flying drones and never have or want to get a gift for one for somebody the SEMA X5Z is one that I highly recommend at 50 bucks. Number two is the Ghoul RC T32. Now this actually reminded me a lot of the SEMA. Uh, it's a beast in the wind. It's got three flight rates so it really can uh, take off or go pretty gently depending on which rate you're in and it has foldable arms. So if you want a drone that's similar to the SEMA and has foldable arms, the Ghoul RC T32 is 10 bucks more. It does have a camera and it does have an app. Quite honestly, I wouldn't bother with those. The footage is okay, um, but it's not really designed to be a camera drone. This thing is designed to be a line of sight flyer that you learn how to pilot and you have fun with. So if you want a uh, cool $60 drone that you can fold the arms in, the Ghoul RC T32 is a great choice and that's why it's number two on my list. Number three is the Drocon U31W. Now I like this drone a lot because it is a nice indoor and outdoor flyer. Um, it's not super powerful, but it has enough power to uh, fly outdoors in a little bit of wind. I wouldn't try to fly it in a strong wind. It's significantly smaller than the SEMA or the Ghoul RC, which makes it great for indoor flight. It has built-in prop guards, and so if you bump into stuff, you don't have to worry about it, and you don't have to worry about taking the prop guards on and off. They're very unobtrusive, and they really don't get in the way, so I just leave them on all the time. I really like flying this thing around my office. I actually keep it up at my office to bother my coworkers. And so if you're looking for a little drone that you can fly indoors or outdoors um, with a camera, and by the way, the camera's a little bit better than the other two I mentioned so far. So if you do wanna get into one with a camera, it's not stabilized, but the uh, Drocon U31W does have a decent camera and I would recommend it if you wanna get into flying a little camera drone indoors or out. That's why it is number three at $89 on my list. So for 10 bucks more at $99, you can get a Rise Tello with a DJI flight controller and Intel technology built in. It says that on the box. I'm not sure what Intel did. But the point being that this is a super teched out drone. The Tello is one that's had a lot of buzz. Uh, it is pretty small, pretty lightweight, and it has a really amazing app that allows you to do all kinds of things like circles, flips, follows. Um, it's, it's something that I have found to be a pretty amazing little drone for the price. Um, now, it by default, you fly it with your phone and using the app. And I have to say, I'm usually not a big fan of that, but the Tello actually makes that fun, especially the way you do flips. So I would say give that a try first. And if you really wanna fly it with a remote control, you can actually buy a Bluetooth remote that is a video game remote, and I'll link to it below, that you can actually connect to your, your uh, phone now the one I have is for the iPhone, but you can also get it for Android. And you can fly this thing with the remote control and it's pretty responsive. Um, there's a little bit of lag. You're not gonna be able to FPV race with this thing, but it isn't so bad that you can't fly it um, outdoors. And certainly if you're keeping an eye on it, line of sight, it's, it's a breeze to fly. Speaking of breeze, it holds its position really, really well in the wind, despite the fact that it doesn't have GPS. It just has um, position sensors on the bottom that basically allow it to stay in one place in a pretty strong wind, and I'm super impressed by that. It's lightweight, it's not something that's gonna hurt anything or anybody really, it's, it's uh, very low mass and very low density, and if you wanna get into a drone, or if you want a second drone that you can just have some fun with, the Rise Tello is one to really consider for 99 bucks. So moving on to number five, I'm getting into the FPV racing drones now. 
And I love FPV racing. I'm not great at it by any means, but I've been trying to get better and learn how to fly in acro mode. And I have to say the King Kong Tiny 7 has been a huge help for me in terms of learning how to fly FPV. The reason is it's a great little indoor FPV flyer and it's been winter time, it's been windy, it's been rainy. I've been able to fly it indoors. And a couple of things I really like about the King Kong 7. Number one, it is designed to be flown indoors. It has protection around the uh, propellers built right into the air frame so you're not gonna you're not gonna damage anything uh, you're just gonna um, if you bump into something it also won't damage the propellers uh, number two it comes with a remote control it's ready to fly right out of the box it comes with several batteries it comes in a nice little carrying kit and it comes with this cool uh, charger that allows you to charge it using another battery so if you have a, a hobby battery with a, I think it's a XT60 connector on the end of it you can char charge several batteries with a, or several of the King Kong batteries using another battery you can also charge them via the usual ways with USB and such, but uh, it gives you some options there. This thing is really fun to fly. Now it's a brushed motor drone and that's what keeps the cost down a little bit, but I've been flying it a lot and I've been flying it pretty hard and I have yet to burn out a motor on it. Um, it is one that if you want to get into FPV flying, I, I'd say it's a good choice, especially because of the versatility of flying it indoors or out. You will need to buy goggles with it if you, if you want to fly FPV, if you don't already own goggles. It uses 5.8 gigahertz, which is a standard um, 40 channels. And so you can pretty much use it with any sets of goggles that support FPV. And it's a great starting point. It runs 125 and that does include the controller and several batteries. So check it out. So the next drone on my list, number six, is made by MJX RC. It is the Bugs 8 Pro. Now I'm a big fan of the entire Bugs line of drones. Uh, I've had a Bugs 3, Bugs 3 Mini, Bugs 6, Bugs 8, Bugs 2, Bugs uh, B2W. There's several variations. Anyway, Bugs 8 Pro is one of the better ones that they make, and that's because it is actually one that you can learn how to fly acro in. It has an acro mode built right into it. Uh, you can buy it ready to fly. You can also get it with a pair of goggles uh, and a screen that is not bad quality for the bundle price. It's one of those drones that I highly recommend if you're ready to get into uh, outdoor FPV racing and try to learn how to fly an acro. Very solid. Uh, I've crashed mine lots of times and it's survived pretty well. Um, you know, it's not going to be quite as good as a higher end racing drone, but as a uh, starting point to be able to fly pretty quickly outdoors, I think the Bugs 8 Pro is a great choice and it's only 160 bucks. Now there are different configurations of it where you can get different things with it and the price can vary, but if you're just buying the drone by itself, with the remote control and you already have goggles, 160 will get you the, the drone and uh, it's a ton of fun to fly. So check out the Bugs 8 Pro uh, for $160. So number seven on my list comes in at 170 bucks, a little bit more than the Bugs 8 Pro, but it comes with a lot. It comes with an entire FPV kit. It is the Bolt drone. Now the Bolt drone is actually made of carbon fiber, sort of, it has carbon fiber in it. Um, it's not a high-end racing drone, but it performs really well. It's a ton of fun to fly. It works well with the included goggles and screen. Uh, the screen actually slides into the goggles, so if you want to do screen, you can do that, and if you want to do goggles, you can do that. And it does work with other racing goggles because it's 5.8 gigahertz. So the Bolt drone is one that I enjoy flying. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, it is an all-in-one kit, so it's one of those easy things. If you want to just buy it and learn how to fly FPV, just buy the Bolt. Um, Bolt FPV racer and you will have everything you need to get started. So it's 170 bucks and it's number seven on my list. So number eight on my list is another uh, MJX RC Bugs uh, series drone, the Bugs 2 B2W. Now the Bugs 2 is not a racing drone. It's more of a camera drone or an all around flyer, similar in nature to um, like a Spark, but a little bit lower end, but still an amazing drone for the price. The Bugs 2 B2W has really great range. Half a kilometer you can get on this thing pretty easily without losing any signal. You can still see the video signal very clearly. Now the range for the actual radio is even further, but I wouldn't fly it much further because at that point you lose the signal and uh, you know, you can get into trouble by losing line of sight. Now, my point though, is that if you want a really solid drone with GPS, brushless motors, a pretty decent camera, and a decent range for not for both the uh, transmitter and the video transmitter, uh, the Bugs 2 B2W is a great choice. It's one that I would say, uh, after you've learned how to fly on one of the lower end drones, it's a great second step if you want, don't wanna jump all the way up to a high end drone. So check out the B2W, 
Bugs 2 from MJX RC. It is number eight on my list and I highly recommend it. So coming in at number nine is my all-time favorite FPV racing drone, and that is the Walkera Rodeo 110. Why do I love this drone? Because it is such a blast to fly and it's so small. Um, it's a real FPV racing drone. It's very fast. You can do acro, you can do flips. Um, it, its performance is very similar to some of the 250s I've flown in the past, which are the bigger drones. It's, it's really legit. If you want to get into FPV racing and you want something small or maybe you don't have a huge space to fly in, um, it's not going to be as fast as the bigger ones because it has smaller motors. And that's actually a good thing because it allows you to fly in a smaller space without eating up that real estate so quickly. Um, Walkera makes great drones. I've really enjoyed all of their uh, drones, but the um, Rodeo 110 is a great drone because you can buy an all-in-one kit with it for 300 bucks that includes a Devo transmitter as well as the Walkera itself and it includes multiple batteries. It's got cool bright LEDs. It's very, very rugged. I've crashed this thing many times. Uh, spare props, I have lots of those. I have, I have destroyed some props. Uh, generally, it's just a well-made little drone for the price. So for 300 bucks, you can get all that. Now you still need to buy your own goggles, but if you're using a Walkera Rodeo 110, I recommend getting some real FPV goggles, not the toy ones that come with the others. Um, you're stepping up with this. It's a real FPV racing drone in a small package, so check it out. So the last drone on my list that comes in under $500 is probably the best drone on this list. Uh, it's the most expensive, but it still is under $500, coming in at $399. It's the DJI Spark. Now, why do I love the Spark? First of all, the Spark used to cost quite a bit more, and if you wanted it with the remote control, it was even more. It came initially where you just flew it with your phone. Uh, now it comes with a remote control for $399, and it is a blast to fly. It has GPS, it has brushless motors, it has a 1080p camera, and it has a uh, two axis gimbal that stabilizes all your video footage. So if you don't need to shoot 4K and you're, you're happy with 1080p, then at 30 frames per second, then the Spark is a great option for you in terms of a drone that you can actually produce real decent uh, looking footage with. Uh, whether it's sports, whether it's uh, taking photos, whether it's just kind of documenting your travels, the Spark's a really solid contender. Now, there are better drones out there, of course, that have longer flight times, that have greater range, etc. but for 400 bucks, um, this is really, really a solid drone with a good camera and a two axis gimbal that makes the footage amazing. Um, I'd love to hear your comments below on the drones I've selected and what you think about all of these. I'm hoping this is useful if you're out there trying to decide what your next drone's gonna be or if you're buying your first one because I really do take a lot of time in reviewing these things and trying to understand them and I can sincerely say that every drone on this list is one that I enjoy flying and I think is of good quality. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a like and if you wanna know more about drones and drones of all price ranges, please subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone. We'll see you next time and thanks for watching.